We mentioned just now that bearing vibration can be an indication of various turbine problems. These include excessive change in steam temperature or steam flow to the turbine, high eccentricity, water ingress, internal mechanical defects of the turbine, bearing defects, and a change in alignment of the bearings due to a sinking foundation or other bearing support. The vibration on each of the turbine and generator bearings is continuously monitored and recorded. It is important that the operator keep his eye on these reported levels of vibration. Any sudden change will certainly indicate the occurrence of a potential problem. For example, increased vibration on a generator bearing at a certain loading has been used to identify problems with the generator windings. Similarly, a temporary increase in turbine bearing vibration may be an indication that the operator is applying load too fast. If the magnitude of vibration on all turbine bearings steadily increases with time, it is probably an indication of wear and tear on mechanical components as the machine approaches the next overhaul period, usually every five years. In very general terms, the magnitude of bearing vibration should be less than three mil. In many machines, an alarm will be enunciated if any bearing vibration exceeds five mil. Most of the monitoring equipment we have discussed in this segment forms part of the turbine supervisory equipment. Commonly, this includes the following information, differential expansion, pedestal position, shaft eccentricity, vibration on all bearings, metal temperature at specific locations, turbine speed, percentage opening of control valves, and mechanical position of the shaft. Now, before we move on to talk further about monitoring equipment and turbine protection devices, let's take a break. Please switch off the tape now and review this material in your workbook.